Well, it's about time I'm back in one of these videos. That's right, kitties. It's now time for another toy hunt. <laughs> Well, it's kind of a bad day for a toy hunt. It is the Christmas season, uh, but I'm at my first stop for the toy hunt today, and that is at Walgreens. So uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything fun. And as I had feared, nothing very good right now. All right, on to the next place. Okay, uh, one of the problems I always have is uh, toy hunting in my county, in my area, is my area is a tourist destination. So it's really hard to be a collector in a tourist area because we have people coming from all over to this area, so they just scoop up everything as well. So uh, on to the next place, and uh, let's see what we can find. All right, we're at our next destination, a book's a million. So let's uh, see if we can find anything fun and exciting here. Well, that's fun. Couple of Sabines. Dooku and a Jella. Of course, got some Grogu. I do need Chewy for the collection. You know, I just have to say, Beyblades is fun. Captain he man. <laughs> And now we're, uh, we hit one Walmart, uh, didn't get an intro for that one, but now I'm at a second Walmart, and uh, let's see what they got. Well, they even had less there, and uh, all the areas that I was going into had lots of people, so of course, uh, as you know, I don't like to film if there's lots of people around, because I don't want to have to get them on video and try to edit them out, uh, but yeah, um, unstocked shelves and not much anything. Of course, as you know, it is the Christmas season, so uh, most uh, stuff is pretty much uh, out. All right, on to the next one. All right, I'm at Target. Now, I've not been here in about two months, so I'm not sure what they have, or if they have anything I'm looking for at all, but I'm hoping 
uh, because I've got a quick story to tell you. At the first Walmart I went to, um, I looked down on the ground and found a $100 bill. So, of course, I picked it up. And I walked into the next aisle, and there was an old lady and a and her friend in a wheelchair that were frantically looking in all their pockets. So I approached them and asked them if they had lost some money. And they knew the exact denomination of what they had lost, so I returned the $100 bill to its rightful owner. Now, leave in the comments if you think I did the right thing, or if I should have just pocketed it. I think I did the right thing, but that's just me, and that's my style, and that's my attitude in life. Especially this time of the year, money is tight, and that might have been all the money they had to shop with. So uh, I'm hoping I got some good karma points. So now I'm over here at Target. Let's see if I get some karma, and they actually have what I'm looking for. All right, here we go. And that's a fun set, but not for that price. A bubble frick. Oh, I got some Fortnite, some Halo. That's a pretty cool vehicle that can easily be turned into a G.I. Joe Custom. That's most of you know that I mostly collect G.I. Joe because that's what I enjoy customizing and making more of and lots of, but they are so ludicrously hard to find these days. Oh, we got Kang the Conqueror lurking over here. Lots of storm. No G.I. Joe. I was hoping to find some more stuff. Glad I got that on camera, dropping the camera, dropping the phone. Okay, we do have a uh, Han Solo Endor, Clone Trooper. Might have to get one of those. I'll let you know. Well, I decided against the Hoth Trooper or Endor Han. Um, I probably should have picked them up because I've never seen them in the stores before. But uh, as I said, uh, they didn't have what I was actually looking for here. And uh, so... I'll continue on and uh, see what other areas I decide to swing by and hit. All right, we'll be back. All right, I'm at my last stop for the day, and we are at Ollie's. Good stuff, cheap. Yeah, that's a maybe. Seems a bit pricey for those. And they're not articulated at all.
Lots of games. I did see that another uh, toy hunter found a, a Star Wars board game here for pretty cheap. And not seeing that in that one at all. And they got a lot of stuff. Always not what I'm looking for, but uh, lots of stuff. Good for customs and various other bits and pieces. Well, those are always pretty good to have. I mean, always good for customizing. If you have the two sets there. Hmm. We'll see if I pick that up. Oh, they got the third one there. And I'm home after a very long day and pretty fun uh, toy hunt. Didn't find everything that I was looking for, of course. Uh, but I did pick up a few random things. So, uh, let's see what we got today. All right. First up, from Books A Million. I had to get Chewbacca. <laughs> Gotta have a looky. I've recently got into the Black Series of Star Wars. Um, something I refused to collect for a millennium. But, uh... Now I've decided I kind of like them, so I'm picking up uh, the ones that I find interesting when I see them. Not ordering them, just when I see them, I'll pick them up. I am, of course, searching for Ezra Bridger and, uh, and Zeb from the Rebels line. I'd like those in Black Series because I've already got uh, Hera, Kanan, and uh, the Mandalorian. Now, uh, my sister, I bumped into her at the first... Uh, Walmart. Well, I'm having a hard time communicating today. And uh, she talked me into picking up a Luke. So I picked up a Luke. So I got a couple of Black Series today. Uh, this is a random one. This is a stamp set. But uh, got uh, some fun little stamps there. Got a Mudhorn, Mythosaur Skull, a Child or Grogu, and a Mandalorian helmet. Um, the reason I got the stamps is I make custom Sabacc decks. Uh, I don't print them out. I make them all by hand, so I use stamps and make stamps to make them uh, individualized. So those will be really good to add to that collection. All right. I'm always on the search for G.I. Joe, but uh, for some reason, Hasbro doesn't like to actually send any out to the stores. Or if they do, they just get sold out so quickly and it becomes ridiculous. But I did finally get an off striker. Can't go wrong with an off striker. Uh, I needed it for the new, uh, newer collection that I have going, and uh, so it's good to have. All right, moving on. As I said, it ended up being a massive toy haul today. I did pick up this bad boy for 10 bucks. Now, of course, the size of the figure, it won't fit a 6-inch figure, and it won't fit a 3 and uh, 7 eighths or 3 and 7 fifths figure. It's its own unique size of figures, but uh, this will probably go thrown into my fodder bin for a little while, and eventually it'll probably get turned into a custom Iron Grenadier vehicle. 
thanks to uh, looking at watching other people's uh, toy hunts and videos, uh, Rocco, who I don't like how he always beats the child whenever he sees him, and I don't really care for Pokemon, but he's obsessed with it, but he did uh, bring up the fact that they have these at Ollie's. And this was a $7.99 for a board game that comes with a Tarkin figure in it. Yeah. And so, I mean, I like games, and so I picked that up for my collection. And uh, I showed when I was in Ollie's that they had these from Star Wars Resistance, and they were like $6.99. But if you walk around the store, I got these for $3.99, you just have to look around the store. You never know what you're going to find. But uh, so that completes my uh, toy hunt and toy haul for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you on our next uh, toy hunt or random adventure or Sweet Fanny Adams history or Ollie video. Don't worry, more uh, content will be coming. So uh, have a great night and stay safe out there.